Hi everyone, today is May 4th, 2017, and we are going to be transplanting some burpless bush cucumbers. Transplanting some because some of these are going to be for my parents and there's more than two in a sale. I'm actually going to put them in these four inch pots. They'll be a lot nicer and get really nice. I won't put these in the ground probably here till uh, around end of May, first part of June. I don't get in any hurry because these guys like, like it to be warm. Look at them. Aren't they nice and green? Real nice. Now they're starting to get their new leaf right here. And I'm just going to plant them. Some don't even have it yet, but these do, and I'm just going to plant them, and they'll be just fine. Um, you know, a lot of people will wait till they get a few more leaves, but they'll also do okay this way. Pop them out of here like that. We're going to look at the roots here, and doing good, and just pull them apart very carefully. Okay. And then I will just take down as far as I can. Oh, wow, they really smell good. I like to do bury them pretty far up because they are going to stretch a little bit here indoors. Just like that. Very easy. This is just a simple, simple video today. And I thought, well, I'm going to be doing it. I'll just go ahead and show it to you. Let's get another one out of here. Here's one that's pretty nice. A couple of them. And you can also, I like to plant three to a hill um, when you're planting them. If you want to just direct sow them outside, that works just fine too. But I like to do three to a hill and that's about right. Because you never know when you're going to lose one or one to bugs or whatever. But that's all I do, and it's very simple. These are in a, this is a real peat and perlite, mostly peat. And they'll grow really good here. They'll stay healthy. And as long as I don't keep them too wet, they'll be just fine. But they look pretty good, don't they? So we'll water them in. In our area, we got time yet, because mace can be kind of chilly. So I'm definitely not going to be putting them outside till end of May, close to June. But, you know, it's, it's, it's up to everybody what they want to do in their area. So then I watered them in with, I got compost tea. Compost tea is some, I just soaked in some compost in a sock and put it in the water and just let it soak. Um, you know, it's, that's how I do it. Um, there's a lot of different methods and this will be just fine to keep it nice and green. And it's a good way, it's a good thing to do right away when you are transplanting. Okay, that'll help with a little bit of transplant shock and dividing them and stuff. See how I buried them? These will come up out of there now and they will stretch again. But when I go outside to plant them, I also will do this same technique. I will bury them up to, up this, all the way up to the stem there. So, pretty simple. I'll probably do the rest of these, get these under lights, let them rest now for a little bit like I normally do, and then get them under lights. But we got plenty of burpless. I don't normally plant the burpless, uh, but, but plant them for my folks. And hopefully I can find a couple people that would like some around here that would like some plants. Also planting two to a pot. Or you can do three. And then when you plant them, just plant them in the ground just like that. But I do separate them when I put them in here. Just kind of give them a little more room. Like that. And that's pretty simple to do, isn't it? So you can do whatever you want. I mean, it's really totally up to you. As long as you get them planted, get them potted, and get them so they can grow real nice. Uh, cucumbers are easy to grow. Smell so wonderful. They taste so good. Okay, so they're all done. All in their pots and resting. Until tomorrow, they'll go under lights and they'll be just happy as ever. Take care and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks so much for watching today.